I'm Melissa Scherr, and I'm one of the co-organizers for Worldwide Vegan Chalky Night. There's over 271 cities around the world that are chalking at the same time, and I'm the co-organizer for Worcester. Oh, wow. My name's Karen Bacon, ironically, and I am the, um, also the co-organizer for Vegan Chalky Night. I also run a group called Positive Change for Animals, so I try to sponsor a lot of social and positive events around animal rights. The mission is to put, put beautiful images out there of animals and to tell people how we feel about them and to hopefully encourage people to start thinking about them a little bit more when they eat. Okay. And we also have vegan snacks here. We have fudge and we have popcorn and oatmeal raisin cookies for everybody to enjoy. Oh, wow. Our goal is to mainstream it and to be friendly and open to everybody so that people can try it. Because the reality is the, the history of animal abuse is our collective heritage. And so coming out of that, you know, each person has to sort of take their own steps, but we want to make it a welcoming path. We do hope more people will start thinking about this and maybe even trying vegan once a week. Do you guys, so that's okay with you guys? You know, I just, sometimes you say, oh, I'm vegan yeah. before six or vegan once a week, you know. Yeah. That's okay with you guys? Yeah, yes, you know? it is okay. It's, the way I look at it, it's still mm. planting the seeds, it's baby steps. So if for yeah. those 12 hours a day you're not consuming animal products, yeah. it's at least three of those meals for less people are having animal products. Everything mm. counts. I, I say with animal rights, I compare it to voting. Everything you do counts. Voting counts. Cutting out an animal product counts. So whatever you can do, even down to buying cruelty-free products, plant-based cleaning it products, counts. it all counts.